Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Candice and in this video I'm going to be doing a review finally of my Balenciaga Neo Classic City Nano bag in fluorescent green. Yes, I had to read that because I could not remember it word for word. I know it's the, Na the Neo Classic City bag. Neo Classic City Nano bag. See, I screwed it up. But I love this bag and y'all know I've had it for quite some time now so I can do a review now. And I didn't pay full price for this, first and foremost. I got this on Moda Operandi, Operandi, op Operandi. Okay. I think they are like Italy based or something. By the way, this retails for $14.90. I think they're Italy based, hold on. I've started to have my computer here in case I need to look something up quickly. So yeah, your girl prepared today. You go girl. Yes. Oh, New York? Never mind. They are New York based, I'm so sorry. Listen, I've shopped so many different places. Some are Italian, some are Canada, some are Germany. Eventually I'm gonna do a video sharing all the places I shop because there's a long list of places that I find things at great deals that are all authentic and everything, of course. But yeah, back to the point of this video. I wanted to do a review on this bag. So I've been loving this bag. I've been loving the Neo Classic City bags in general. I have a super nano bag, which I'm sure y'all seen in some videos. I have the small size, which is slightly bigger than this. Could definitely do reviews on those and then do comparisons if y'all want. I'll probably do it anyway, but do not sleep on Balenciaga bags. The last few bags I've bought, most of them have been Balenciaga. So that, that tells you a lot there. Do not sleep on Balenciaga bags. I know they're not super popular and all of that. You shouldn't worry about that. But with the rising cost of Chanel and everybody else, Louis Vuitton even, I'm not about to just pay it, you know? I'm not gonna just pay $10,000 for my bag. You know, I'm going to look at other brands and see what they have. I'm so glad I ventured out. They have fun colors. The quality of the bag is amazing. Let's get into it. Sorry, I had to switch my camera battery out. That's why I have three. So I don't have to stop and wait and all of that. I don't have the patience. Cause when I'm filming, I like to continue. This is like my fifth video today. So yeah, I'm like to knock them out. Anyway, back to the review on this. So first and foremost, it's absolutely beautiful. That is, let's get the dimensions and all of that. The length is seven inches across the bottom. The height is four point or 5.1 inches. And then the width is 3.5 inches. So seven by 5.1 by 3.5. Those are your dimensions. Dimensions. This is green calfskin, as you can see. You can see it really well right there. That's the true color that you see right now. So I love this bag so much. And also this is the nano size I mentioned. It has two leather hand braided handles. It has an adjustable and removable strap. I'm gonna just take this off for the time being and show you what it looks like without the straps because I think it's absolutely adorable. With and without, oh my gosh, look at that. And look at this. It's, it just is so detailed and beautiful. Also, there's no feet on the bottom, but it does sit flat against the surface. It's super roomy. It holds a lot, okay? It holds a lot. And there's a front zipper across the front. This is essentially pointless. I don't think it even, yeah. Wait, can you fit, put something? Oh, I'm gonna put a piece of gum in there. <laughs> if you want. And in very, very tiny writing, it says Balenciaga there, but I doubt you can see that. Okay, you may be able to see that. It has silver hardware. I'm glad they didn't go with gold because I don't think that would have looked right, honestly. So silver hardware. Also, they had a little buckle detailing on the sides. The detail on this bag is just so beautiful. Now, they used to have a city bag, which was super slouchy. They may still have it, I don't know. But the new Neo Classic City mini, uh, Neo Classic City bag is more structured. So that's the difference between this and the older one. And personally, I like this one better. Y'all know I prefer structure in my bags. And personally, the city bag doesn't really fit my style. However, this one does. This is one of those bags, just like, you know, people buy multiple Chanel medium, uh, Chanel classic flaps. This is a bag that I would get in multiple sizes and colors. I've already done it. I have three of the Neo Classic city bags all together already. I really like the style. I really like it all together. Okay, I love it. Whoa. What really happened? Let me show you, you know, what's in the inside. I know y'all are waiting on that. So, it comes with a dust bag, of course. I kept this in here, I've been wearing it, but I kept this in here just so I could show y'all what I paid and everything. I've been looking for this. Okay, so I was taking pictures. This is random. 
I'm gonna just show them. I was taking pictures in front of the salon and he was so nice, like people are normally rude. You can't take pictures here, blah, 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 and all of that. He was just over the top helpful and he is the owner of this hair salon, he's a colorist and he uses Pravana hair color, same color I use. So I took his card because I'm probably gonna get him to touch my hair soon. But anyway, I'm so glad I found this because I had lost it. Oh my gosh, okay, anyway, sorry. So here's the cards and stuff that come with it. That's trash. Care card, I normally keep one because they're usually all the same. I have tons of Balenciaga care cards. Okay, but I want to show y'all what I paid for this. Actually, I think I might have gotten this from Bloomingdale's. I, no, 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 you know what? The, the mini size I got from Moda Operandi. This one I got from Bloomingdale's. Okay, so I got this one on sale too. So, I told y'all the regular price, right? Do I have the wrong price written down? Oh my gosh, it is not $14.90. Okay, so the price currently is $15.90. The price I paid at the time was, well, it was retail for $15.50. It's gone up through a price increase, $40. So I'll show you. It was $15.50, right? I got it 30% off. So I only paid $10.85. And if I can remember correctly, I think I got an additional discount on top of that because I think Bloomingdale's was offering like an additional something. I think I paid less than $1,000 for this, but no sleep, okay? If you're gonna buy one of these, I recommend buying it on sale because all the ones I've bought have been on sale. Just FYI. Anyway, let me show you this interior. Do I have anything else in here? Okay, so here's the interior. Quite roomy inside. There is, hmm, is that like a card holder? I think there's like a card holder pocket. Oop, wrong side. There. Let me actually see. I have a few cards here. Let me test it out and see if it fits in there. Let me get a card where y'all won't see. Okay, so let me see if a card actually fits in here. Okay, so yes, you can fit some credit cards in here. So if you don't have to carry a wallet with this. Speaking of, let's go ahead and get into what fits. Okay, so what fits? I have some cards in my hand here, okay? I'm not gonna show y'all the cards because then y'all know everything about me and that's not cool. So I'll put my driver's license. I have to carry that everywhere. Let's see, so I have I'm attempting to put four cards in here now. Okay, and that's honestly probably all I want to carry. That's really too many too. But it holds four cards, okay? So just to let y'all know, it is a bit tricky to get the cards in there because of how limited your space is from this part to the cards, but you can easily bend this back. Not too much because you're gonna mess the leather like I almost just did, but you can fit it in there, okay? So let's talk about what else, what else fits. Let me put the remainder of my cards back into my key pouch. So I have my key pouch with my keys, both of my car keys on here. I'm going to put this in here first because that's a must. With that, it fits. I have also multiple shut. Do you think this will fit in here? Actually, I'm going to start with that because usually that's the thing I need to put in first. So let's see if the, the mini pochette fits in here. Wow, it does. The only issue is it takes up all the space. It, it'll zip up, but one thing, it will protrude out of the sides, but you can easily cover it with that flap there and you won't be able to really tell. Okay, while that's in there, I'm gonna see what else I can fit because I have a small sliver of space in here and I have to carry my keys, that's a must. I can take one car key because I'm only gonna drive in one car, but you know. Okay, so I put my key pouch back in there with my keys and that fits quite nicely. Let's zip this baby up. It fits, it holds a mini pochette, okay? And you can't really see anything on the sides. Now keep in mind the mini pochette, you can put hand sanitizer, you can put hand cream in there, you can put your lip color, touch up powder. You can hold a lot inside the mini pochette so don't be alarmed that that's all I have in here because my mini pochette has quite a bit in it currently. I even have a few tampons in there. You gotta carry it up because you never know. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Don't think I'm like, I don't know, a TMI girl. I am a TMI girl. Y'all should know this by now. Has anybody else's cycle just been off lately with everything going on? You know, with, you know, the stuff that's spreading. I don't want to say it because then they're gonna put that annoying little message on my screen. Maybe, and maybe that's just Facebook. Has anybody's menstrual cycle been off? Like not every 28 days? It's been really weird. I don't know, I can't explain it. Maybe, I know it's not just me because I've been talking to a few other people and theirs have been off too. Let me know in the comments if you're going through that too. Anyway, inside my mini pochette, 
I have some panty liners. I have a tampon. I have my mirror. I have some hand wipes, cause y'all know I carry these rather than hand sanitizer. They take up less space, okay? I have some hand cream. You can put gum in here too. This still has quite a bit of space to put, you know, things like, uh, I'm gonna have a lip color in here, but that can fit right at the top. But I just want to show y'all that that fits in here. Okay, does it fit a phone? It is seven inches across the bottom, remember that. I have the 11 Pro Max. I have not upgraded yet. Let's see if this fits in here. It does fit in here. Doesn't stick out of the size or anything. Now, one thing that helps this bag, this part at the top sticks out naturally. So that's gonna help give you additional space to hold things like an iPhone Pro Max. I need to close my blinds. I don't like people looking at me while I'm filming or in my damn house. Okay, and it's dark outside now. Excuse me one second. One eternity later. I'm very old school when it comes to that. When I was younger, my mom used to be like, close them blinds up, it's dark outside. My dad, you know, I'm the same way, okay? <laughs> Are y'all the same way? I'm sure. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave my phone in here. Now, honestly for me, I wouldn't put my phone in here with the mini pochette. I feel like it would be too much. Now, Louis Vuitton has another pochette coming out called the micro pochette. It's supposed to be smaller than this, although I'm kind of freaked out. Like, this holds a great amount, a perfect amount in my opinion. I'm afraid of the micro pochette and what it might not hold. But my guess is that it will fit that because obviously it fits the mini pochette, but I feel like this bag would be more suited for that one. So you can have stretching room. Now, you can take the phone easily in and out. That's not really the struggle. The struggle is with my phone being in here. I'm not really sure. I'll probably put my key pouch in my keys. But with my phone being in here, I don't think I would put the mic, the mini pochette, I'm getting confused. Because look, I'm kind of struggling to get this in here with my phone. So literally, you know, if you have a smaller phone like the 11 or the 12 or the 13 without the max, you won't have as much of an issue. But honestly, I wouldn't put my phone in here. I just want to show you all that it fits in case you're curious because a lot of people, that's very important to them. I wouldn't put my phone in here. It holds exactly what I need it to and I don't need to really hold anything else. Okay, so back to the strap. It is adjustable. It has silver hardware. Also the strap, the top of the strap is bigger. So it's more comfortable than just having a thin strap. I'll show you how it clips on too. So there's a loop here, this little loop that you clip it on to at the front and also the back. So you clip them opposite. And it's just a squeezy clip type of thing here. So that's what it looks like with the strap and all of that. It's really nice. I really like this bag so much. So glad I didn't pay full price for it either. It's a nice color. I don't own this color. Y'all know I love my neons. Y'all know I love green. So y'all know your girl had to get it. So now I'm gonna show you some different outfits that I styled this bag. Okay, pros. It holds my essentials. It holds everything I need it to. Okay, 
it holds everything I needed to, which is basically all I really need. Another pro, it's structured really nicely. The leather feels great, is high quality, and it also has a longer crossbody strap. Different ways of wearing it. You can wear it top handle. You can't put a whole hand in here now, okay? You can do it like this, kind of like a little finger clutch. You can wear a crossbody shoulder bag. Where's a shoulder bag? Another pro, let me take my driver's license out here right now before I go to the gym in the morning and I don't have my driver's license. That freaks me out. Cause at any time a cop could ask me for my driver's license. I don't have it, that's a ticket, guaranteed. Not really guaranteed cause I got pulled over a few months back. I didn't have a front license plate, which I still don't. I refuse. Hopefully, <laughs> I refuse, okay? I don't want to drill holes in my paint. I don't want to drill holes. Okay, look, I don't. Anyway, I didn't have a front license plate. What else? My address wasn't changed on my license because I did not want to pay for a new license to have it changed. It's like $15, $20. I don't care. I didn't want to pay it. Okay, so I didn't do that. And then the third issue, I made a right turn and then my... Okay, I made a right turn and then the place I need to go, Starbucks, was like way over on the other side of the street. So I skipped five lanes, but there was nobody coming. That's that's the real reason he pulled me over. He told me, you can't do that. I was like, okay, sure. You're busted. And I did it again like a few days later. Anyway, that's when he told me about the other stuff. He gave me warnings. He didn't give me, thank you God, that was grace. He gave me warnings instead of, you know, what. I made him laugh, I cracked jokes. Basically, he was like, I don't even know why I'm telling y'all this, I'm wasting time. Basically, he asked me, why haven't you changed your address? And I was like, well, I don't wanna pay the $20. And then he asked me, why haven't you put the front license plate? I was like, I don't even know, I'm not gonna make up an excuse. I don't have a reason. I'm not gonna make up anything. <laughs> and he just bust out laughing. I was honest, okay? All it takes is a little honesty. And just be nice and kind, and you might not get the ticket. Anyway, where was I even at? What? Okay, yeah, I had to put my driver's license back. Anyway, it holds what I needed to, okay? That's the pros. Also, I like the attention to detail. Balenciaga has a great talent in paying attention to detail. My sneaker head bag, this, I love the braided handles. I feel very confident that this will last a very long time. And it's very structured, I don't see it, you know, very, it's very easy also to clean and take care of. It's not carefree, I wouldn't say that. It's still green leather, it's still leather. It's not like vintage crinkled leather, like the Saint Laurent bag I have, but cons. This can be kind of tricky to get off with this type of, you know, I wish this was more of like, I can't describe it. It's like the thing you squeeze down rather than squeeze in. I wish it did have those types of hooks but I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. Um, the hardware also has more of a vintage silver look rather than a bright silver. I don't mind that either, honestly, because this bag is a little more edgy, so I don't mind the kind of vintage silver look. Let me show y'all, try to show y'all what I'm talking about. I'm not sure it's gonna focus, but you see how it's kind of vintage? It's not really bright, shiny silver. I don't really mind that. That could be a con for some people though, but I just wanted to make y'all aware of it. Honestly, I don't have any more cons. Another pro too is that it goes on sale. Okay, that's just another pro. But yeah, let me know. I know I went off on a tangent about my ticket thing, but I don't know. I need to stop talking. This, like I said, this is my fifth video and I'm kind of delirious. So let me know if y'all want a video on the mini size I have or a small size I have, the super nano size I have, as well as a comparison. I can definitely do that. And yeah, I'll leave another video here. In case you haven't seen it, talk soon. Thanks for watching.